Hello everybody, my name is Michael Quinn. I'm one of the directors of the Quinn Group. This month on Quintessential TV, we'll be discussing initial considerations when expanding overseas. An Australian company looking to expand offshore should establish an appropriate business model which meet, meets the group's commercial and strategic objectives. Based on the structure the business model implemented, different tax outcomes may arise. This topic aims to provide a brief overview of the different structures commonly adopted by Australian companies expanding overseas and highlights certain key areas that should be considered and continually managed as the overseas operations grow. In determining a preferred business model, the following factors should be taken into account. The overall business investment strategy, the term or duration of the foreign activities, anticipated risks of such activities, any regulatory, legal or commercial requirements, ongoing obligations and costs, which include tax, whether the profits are intended to be repatriated to Australia or reinvested overseas, reinvested locally, and any future exit strategy. In practice, Australian businesses often choose between the following models in establishing their offshore operations. The first is an Australian company selling directly to foreign customers. The second is an Australian company engaging a local third party agent. And third is an Australian company establishing a taxable presence, whether it be by way of entity or branch, in the foreign jurisdiction. If you'd like to know more about initial considerations when expanding overseas, or you need advice in this area, please contact us. You're welcome to email us at info at quins.com.au. We'd love to get your feedback with relation to Quintessential TV, so please like, comment and subscribe. We look forward to seeing you all next month. I'm Michael Quinn. Bye for now.